Hey, welcome to Black Lab Garage. Today we're going to take an old holly carburetor that I'm rebuilding for a 460 that I'm putting in my old truck that y'all haven't seen yet, but it's coming. Um, you know how the old holly carburetors has been, have it, was a zinc dichromate coating? Just gets all brown looking, just, you know, the gold fades away. Well, Eastwood used to make a product called Carb Renew that would get it looking pretty good. I mean, it was a paint, but you know, well, they've quit making it. So today we're going to use some Duplicolor wheel paint, and I want to show you how to freshen up a holly carburetor. Or, you know, I am going to rebuild it, so I'm freshening it up internally, and we're going to make it look better outside. Because I'll spend a lot of money on this motor. And it's a good carburetor, but I don't want it just looking like crap sitting there. All right, fall off. All right. Remember I was talking about how they get kind of brown and nasty looking? Well, which I've masked off the important areas, but you can see. Now, doesn't that look a whole lot better? So, mask up anything that's important, which it ain't a big deal if you get paint inside of it or something because you can take carburetor cleaner and a Q-tip or on a rag wire and wipe it right off. Or you can just wash it off with carburetor cleaner. Now, some of you I know are going to say, well, it washes off that easy. What about when you get gas on it? What I'm going to do is after I have everything painted and have the carburetor back together, I will um, spray it with actual clear coat, not cheap spray can clear coat, but I'll mix up some flat, you know, urethane clear coat and spray it with a gun. That way you'll have that same dull finish, but once it cures, you pour all the gas on you want, it's not going anywhere. So, here we go. Keep in mind this is a metallic paint, so don't try to do it all in one coat. And by the way, that's what I'm using. Alright, there you can see it. I've got it all sprayed. I'm just letting it dry now. And then I'll take it inside and finish rebuilding it. And if you're wondering why I didn't spray the base plate, well the base plate's supposed to be just natural aluminum. So, I gotta wash my hands off. I got glitter all over me. It looks like I've been to a strip club or something. So, I'm gonna let it finish drying and Go in here and finish putting it together, and I'll see you in here in a little bit. All right, here you go. Here's the finished product. Um, all I did was wire wheel the uh, screws and bolts. Of course, I left the base plate natural because that's how they are when they're new. But um, and you got it on your intake and got your breather on. How many people just want to know that was ever spray painted rather than, you know, it's actual factory, uh, what they call it, chromate dip, zinc dip, whatever it is it's called. But how many people just want to know? Nobody. And it's hard to beat for what it cost you to do it. So, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, stay tuned for there will be more to come. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll post another one here shortly.